Hey, I'm Jeremy and it's time for a tool tune-up. Today we're going to change out the stock 40 tooth combination blade for this 80 tooth fine finish Diablo blade on my 12 inch Delta Cruiser miter saw. I don't want to just change out the saw blade. I want to compare the two. So I'm going to make a couple of cuts with the original 40 tooth combination saw blade that came on the Delta Cruiser and then make a couple of cuts with the same material with the Diablo blade after we changed out. So my plan is to make a cut on each one of these boards with the original 40 tooth combination blade and then change over to the Diablo 80 tooth fine finish blade and make cuts again on the same material and compare the two. I've got plywood with the grain running this way, plywood with the grain running this way, some hardwood with the grain running this way, and some not as quite as hardwood, but not really softwood with grain running this way. I recently upgraded to this Delta Cruiser saw from an old Chicago electric saw that I got from Harbor Freight years ago. And that saw worked like a champ and got me to where I am now. But it was time for an upgrade, so I bought this thing and I am absolutely in love with it. And one of the things I love about it is how easy it is to operate and how Delta thinks of everything when they sell this saw to you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you look on the back of the saw right here, there's actually this little key that's right here. It's an Allen wrench and also a Torx wrench right there on the end. I don't know if you can see that very well, but a star, star wrench. Let me put it right there against the contrast there. You can kind of see, and then there's an Allen wrench on this side. So they really have thought of everything because these are the two tools that you need to change the blade on this saw. The saw blade really isn't a breeze to change and they've thought of everything. I've already unplugged the saw for safety because you never want to mess with a blade without the thing being unplugged for sure. So as you see, this blade is, is basically brand new. It's got barely any wear on it at all. I've used it just a handful of times, um, but I knew I was going to be cutting some hardwoods with it. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a really, really good, oh, I was wrong. This is a 60 tooth blade, not a 40 tooth. I apologize, but um, I want to make sure that I had a really good blade on here to be able to cut through some of the hardwoods and things that I'm gonna be using. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your, your wrench on the torque side, you're gonna loosen that up just a little bit on this one. It doesn't need to come all the way out. And this front screw, you're gonna unscrew and you're gonna loosen it up. And what it's gotta do, you've got to loosen it up enough to where it'll clear this little part right here. And I'll show you what a cool design this is real quick. Because after I get this loosened up, I don't have to sit here and hold the guard up while I try to change this blade out. So as soon as it can clear that little space there, all I have to do is push this back and it will hold the guard up and out of the way so that I can access that bolt right there, which is also, oh, which is the Allen wrench now. This saw is equipped with an arbor lock right here. And to engage the arbor lock, all you do is you, I push in and I'll just spin the blade until it locks in just like that. And now that blade is nice and tight in there. So now I can feed my wrench in and I can loosen up that bolt holding the blade in place. Now that I've got the cover up, I've got the arbor lock engaged, I can go ahead and loosen this bolt and I always forget these actually go the opposite of how you normally would thread in a bolt. The reason that is, is because it tightens as the rotation of the bolt goes. If it went the other way, it takes a chance of the bolt actually working itself out. So don't try to loosen up like you normally would, or you will just tighten it down and frustrate yourself even worse. So then the blade comes out just like that and we will, that is a good blade, so we will hold on to that and we will uh, use it again in the future. This 
spacer in there just like that. To forget, that being said, it says loosen and tighten and has arrows. <laughs> so they really have thought of everything on this saw. So I tighten it the opposite way than I normally do. No righty tidy on this one, guys. All right, we're gonna use the arbor lock over here to engage it. And we will snug this guy down just like that. Then we can pick our blade guard back up here, lower that down. Tighten that one down. Tighten that one back down. And there you go. Ready to go? Put your tool back. All right, and now let's test our cuts again. Okay, let's look at our hardwoods first. The circles are the uh, the original combination blade. It really looks good there. It really didn't, I don't see any burning. It looks pretty clean. There's a little bit of rough edges there, but it really did pretty good. There's a little bit of chip out there, but not a big deal. Here's the Diablo blade side, it, man, there's no chip out, no rough edges. Man, that is really a smooth cut there. I just realized I made triangles for the Diablo and circles for the uh, for the Delta blade. And I really should have done triangles for the Delta blade. <laughs> but this is a piece of sycamore and it's a little, it's a little softer wood. But you can see here, there is the, um, Let's try to get that where you can see it. There's the cut with the combination blade, a little hairy there, a little bit of chip out, um, where you can see that. And then the other end, we really don't have, there's a little bit there, but not near like the other one was. This is literally a one little pass with a piece of sandpaper and that is taken care of. The other side's gonna take a little more work to get it done. Now onto the plywood. Let's see, this is the, this is just some birch half inch plywood. I, th I think that's birch, that might be maple. Um, but you can see we got some we got some tear out there on that one uh, and a little bit of tear out on the underside. You can see that there. Now the other side, um, much cleaner. I don't know if this was already there. I'm guessing it probably wasn't. So we did get a little bit of tear out there, um, but you can see there's no tear out on the bottom. And there's just this, barely this tear out on the back side right here. Same thing, just one little pass of sandpaper is gonna take care of all of that right there. So all in all, the Diablo blade so far is cutting significantly better. Let's look at this one now. This is the, I believe this is some oak plywood that I had, just piece laying around. Um, and that was the 60 tooth, nice clean cut there, did really good job, no tear out. Uh, that was with the grain though, so that, that last piece was cross grain, so if that makes a little bit of a difference. Um, and then the other side, really same thing, no tear out, super clean cut. Um, you know, it's a little hairy there, but not a big deal. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's tool tune up. I'll have a link in the description below of all the products you saw here today. So if you want to upgrade the blade on your current saw to the Diablo 80 tooth, it'll be down in the description below. Or if you want to upgrade your current saw to the Delta Cruiser 12 inch, it will also be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn on those notifications. We'll see you next week.